Talk about a contrast in styles. Louisville likes to make you feel them when they defend. And I tell you what, if I'm Coach Walls in Louisville, I want Gonzaga to feel me the moment the ref throws this ball in the air. I'm making contact with somebody and we're going to make them fill us. They've got to get up in Gonzaga's space. They've got to be great one-on-one -on -one defensively. You can't help a lot off of Gonzaga. They have five players averaging double figures. A look at Lisa Fortier, her 10th season, just a ridiculous winning percentage. She's top five in the NCAA in her time at the dog pound. Yes, you know, Kelly Graves got the Gonzaga program going, and there's not been any letdown since she's taken over there. Oval on the other side, led by a man who has become synonymous with this program. Jeff Wall, 17 seasons. They had not made the Sweet 16 prior to his arrival. They made it 12 times since. Yes, and the only coach and program to make five consecutive elite eights. Two fantastic coaches going head-to-head -head here early in the season. This feels like a March game to me. No doubt about it. These two met up once last year in the Bahamas. It was a thrilling game. Gonzaga pulled away late for an overtime win. But this series tied it too, so a lot of the line is Coach mentioned. Yes, two teams that are familiar with one another. Gonzaga, um, in particular, start four graduates and one senior, so they're familiar with how and what Louisville likes to do. Louisville's added a lot of kids out of the portal, so some new faces for them. Trophy on the line in the Betty Chancellor Classic. If Gonzaga wins this game, they take it out right. Louisville needs to win by more than eight points for a tiebreaker, and the Cards could take home the trophy. It certainly will not be easy. You know what Cards gets to start today for Louisville, and she takes it in for the first two points of the game. Now, like Coach Walls and Louisville challenging the foot speed of Gonzaga right off the bat. Unbelievable start for the Cardinals. It's 4-0 off the steal the inbounds. Gonzaga has been the team of this tournament. They won 102 to 59 over Liberty and then stomped Alabama by double digits yesterday. They have not looked this flat at any point throughout the tournament. That's well, out of bounds. Well, like we said, Louisville's got to be in attack mode. You know, you could argue that Gonzaga won that Alabama game in the first half, putting up 41 points yesterday, and Louisville's very well aware of that. They know they've got to be great defensively to start this game and not let Gonzaga get rolling. Kaylin Trump will throw it in. It's a great atmosphere in favor of Gonzaga. It's easier ways it in. How about that pass from Trump? She puts the ball in the right spot for her teammates often. Talk about the contingency of fans here supporting Gonzaga. You might wonder why. Well, it's the Trump sisters, Kaylee and Kaylin. See them providing defense on the right side of your screen. Twin sisters at Jersey Village High School returning home to play this weekend. Whoa, it continues its hot start. Sydney Taylor drills it from distance. Again, nice for Louisville to see that ball go through the net early. They struggled a little bit shooting um, in the first couple of games from outside. Awesome to, to get the early bucket there. This is okay. Kaylee Troll. Adrian has a great mid-range jumper. So again, coming off the double-double yesterday, she can do that. She can take you outside, take you down low, just extremely versatile. Olivia Cochran. Records hits. Oh. Unconscious out of the gates. I feel like Nina's been really steady for Louisville in this tournament. They've been able to count on her energy, effort, and enthusiasm and her ability to score throughout the tournament. Double-double for Louisville on Friday in the narrow loss to Alabama. Cardinals fell 78 to 73. A triple for Gonzaga and a great response as Eliza Hollingsworth drills it. You know, I was interested to see what Louisville's going to do. Over Liberty. Offensive foul is coming back with the Zags. Her ceiling's really high. She's a versatile player for Coach Walls. Kiki Jefferson with a swipe. Right to the 10. Zaga won by 43 points on Friday. Led by as many as 24 in the first half against Alabama yesterday. And a travel. He's going to have to adjust. 14 foul on the Cardinals. Yvonne Ejim. Strong. Great find. Bring it up. 11 in the country and three pointers taken. She's also a very good table setter for her teammates. Top 20 in the country in assists. Kaylee, kind of an all around player. They have different games, but they work together so well. Absolutely. Louisville answers. It's a four point game. 
Allie Stokes with her first touch. Von Egypt off of 23 points yesterday. Fouled of the way in. Been just a brilliant run under her tutelage. It's Dumbalolu across the horn for Taylor. Sydney Taylor, an offensive foul. It's Dumbalolu never got set. Zaka already in the bonus. Louisville with five fouls. It's opening period. We haven't even hit our first media timeout. Try bumped by Ricards. Under. Believable performance for her last year, just most program assist last year. I like Louisville's mentality that they came out with. You've got to be physical with Gonzaga. However, they've got to adjust to the the foul calls here. Kyle Harris with two. Olivia Cochran with a pair of fouls as well. And Rick Arts, the only other player with two personal. Zaga looking for the lead. Strong deny. Louisville looking to answer. They leave it behind. Love gets it to go. Intra-conference pickup for Coach Jeff Walls. They hit the portal pretty hard. There's a lot of great additions to this roster. James Madison transfer Kiki Jefferson. Here for Louisville as they're learning and figuring out one another. He said something as simple as just where where to deliver a pass to a teammate is something that they're spending a lot of time on with all these new faces. Gonzaga, on the other hand, excuse me, you're starting four graduates and one true senior, a veteran group. They've been together for a long time. They're not heavy in the portal. They've added some talent from Utah, a couple of former Utes on this roster. Naya Oshuku hasn't been playing much this season, but Brianna Maxwell is a player that you will see a lot today. She's not on the floor right now for Gonzaga. And a technical called on Jeff Walls. Well, he's not happy here in the early going, and, you know, I can't blame him. They're getting called for a lot of fouls here. The foul count really, really unbalanced, but they're playing a little bit different than Zags. Um, but he's he's just going to try to to get in the refs here here and try to get it a little more balanced. Has to be frustrating for coach because his team has come out and put together a great response after two tough games early in this tournament. Yet they've been struggling on the defensive end, picking up foul after foul. And he wants his team to know he has his, has their back. Uh, but they're just, they're really going to have to adjust. The, they're going to have to keep the hands off. The refs have consistently called it. They've not wavered. I think it's on Louisville here to make a little bit of an adjustment with the contact. Play clean, keep their hands off. Coach Walls approaching 500 career wins. Here's one more look at the tech. Now you can see a short fuse there for Scott Yarbrough. Walls has been bending his ear all the way through here in the first. Nine fouls called on Louisville to one for Gonzaga. This is Callie Stokes turning it over. Taylor on the break. Jada Curry can't get it to roll. Offensive rebound for the California transfer. Another addition to this lineup. Taylor the transfer from UMass. Under three left to play in the opening frame. Jada Kerr. But, uh, they're going to have to just not make that contact. That was a great shot from our crew. Coach Walls can just let. Okay, Lin Trong at the free throw line. Very pure shooter in it. Running out on Louisville to throw it in. Beautiful reverse for Nyla. Esther Little out of hip switch England. Up down to two. Bodies hit the floor. And upon review, we do have a shot clock violation. Final minute. It's down below. Well, she's been maybe taking an ill advised shot there against 
Zucker with a nice defensive stand. Really a broken play. Coach wanted Jefferson to come off that double screen. She rejected it. Zags make them pay on the other end. Trying to move last minute to screen off the defender, and you can't do that. Ricards. Nice. Nailed it. Nice. Boy, she's played good for Louisville. issue here down the stretch. Oh, steal. Oh, that we got love. Jefferson gets it to Louisville has forced 20 or more turnovers in three of its last four games. Egypt can't run it in. No doubt, and yet another Louisville player picking up her second foul. So just keep attacking and going at them to try to pick up a third foul. They have multiple players with two on the bench for the Zags. Down to Kiki Jefferson. Transfer from James Madison. Oh, yeah. Jefferson again, Sunbelt player of the year last year. She's used to scoring big. 18 points a game coming from James Madison last year. And she's really trying to settle in and find her way here at Louisville. And once she does, look out because she can score. Kaylee Trump. Louisville can go back on top. It's been almost an even split in this game. A couple lead changes, a couple times tied. Louisville led by. Oh, they've built a tremendous fan base at Louisville at the Young Center. Bringing thousands of fans every home game. The definitely. women's team has kind of taken up the spot. They've been the team that the fan base, ravenous for a winner, can get behind. Yes, yeah, so when you hear Louisville basketball, I think you make women's basketball. I don't think you. Uh, more recently here, think about the men's team. This is Mott Hybens. Couldn't get it to fall. Great height. Let's get Zach a rotation. Stands at six foot three. Giving up 41 points and a half. Unusual for them, uncharacteristic. Louisville's only loss coming to Alabama on Friday. And Gonzaga goes to a zone there. A little bit of a one for one. Of course, in the outside, missed by Louisville. Zach Kintyre take the lead. Strong with space. Nailed it. Game <laughs> Trong, 25 on Friday. Whistle. Zaga bench shot on the call. A little bit late getting back there. Good call, right call by the official. So we get a three-point game. Offensive rebound, Kiki Jefferson. Great job by Jefferson. You can just see her even throughout this tournament getting more and more comfortable in Coach Walls' system. Six on three pointers today, and Arissa away for the basketball. They really have not on this Sunday matinee. Picked up several fouls in the defensive end, but they are shooting the ball extremely well. For 60%. Gonzaga staying in that zone. Big time recruit out of the state of California. The city of Corona has made it a seven point game. Egypt finds the touch. Egypt so big yesterday, had 17 points a couple games ago against Wyoming as well. Leading score for Gonzaga last night. I don't think that talk by Coach Walls affected Curry very much at all. Russell drills it. I say from the field. Tell you, Coach Walls has to be breathing a easier. We play on. Under four left to play before the break. Watch Shank. Oh, man, everything. First time Gonzaga has faced a double-digit deficit in this tournament. Yes, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how they respond, and I certainly expect them to respond. Again, a veteran group. Four graduates, one true senior in their starting lineup, and then... A foul 
Wow, on Louisville. Her ceiling's really high, and she's going to continue to develop. You know, when you come from a mid-major school to... Really a storied player at JMU. Top ten in that program's history. Very feisty Gonzaga team. E. Jim. Good contest by Mobley there. Jefferson rumbles in. Taylor. Picture in the SEC on the women's side at LSU and Ole Miss. Yesterday he had his Olympic sweatsuit on from 2000. Still looks great on him. Taylor turned away. Hybens trying to cut the lead down to single digits. Eaton gets the roll. Final 13 seconds of this first half. Bowman's going to hold for the final shot. Coach Wells giving him a set play. Here's going to go with four low and let Curry create. She decides to settle for the pull up. One more chance for the cards. Curry. As you see the twin ballers fans there, the Tron sisters trying to will Gonzaga back into this game in the second half. They got some great fan support here. The Houston kids, big part of why Gonzaga's at this tournament this weekend is for them to get back home. Their final season. Hey, Lynn Strong slows it down. Brenna Maxwell can't hit from the mid range. Whereas the last previous two games in this tournament, she's been very comfortable catching and taking that shot off the dribble, but not today. Louisville's lone loss coming in this tournament on Friday to a very good Alabama team that has just one loss in its own right. Zaga trying to sweep through this tournament 3-0. and oh. It would take the trophy that's on the line. Maxwell connects. Also among the NCAA's best free throw percentage. Just an incredibly pure shooter. Six to shoot. Harris travels. We go with three players that had the two fouls to start the half here. They're obviously going to be careful not to pick up a quick third. But they, he wants them to also be very intense defensively. So it's a little bit of a balance for Louisville. Tron. Tron going right at Nina. She has two fouls. Doesn't want to pick up the quick third. Don't look now, but it's a two possession game. Ricards nails it. Maxwell. Maybe should have thought about that shot an extra second. Taylor. Lead back to 10. Cindy Taylor's nice been great. Going oh, a long way from home, all the way in Spokane. Seven to shoot. Taylor with three. The fadeaway. And that's a shot clock violation. Olivia Cochran is on the floor for Louisville. Very quiet first half for her. Did not score. Picked up a couple of fouls. Yeah, second time this tournament she's been in foul trouble. Eugene lays it in. Great pass by Gonzaga. Yvonne Egypt certainly capable of making this all tournament team. 15 points today after 23 yesterday afternoon. Ricards. Over to Cochran. Lay in goes. You can see why. Look at the defense leading to the transition. Puzzle there for Gonzaga. Predicated by what Strong can do. It's tough to see her get into foul trouble here early in the third. Well, it is, and it's a big loss for Gonzaga. Cochran can't hit. They'll have a lot of Kaylee Strong leading the offense, the twin sister of Kaylee. Maxwell never hesitates. Cochran. Olivia just four points off two of four shooting. Very limited in the first half due to a couple of fouls.
Egypt. Trong. It's unfortunate Gonzaga had the mismatch down low on the switch. Cochran switched out on the guard. Oh my, what a delay. Took the Cardinals a while to find the bottom of the bucket there. Big yeah. momentum. After being red hot in the first half, they've been a little cold here coming out from the half. Stokes swatted away and Cochran. It's going to be for the third. That's going to be so big down the stretch in this game. Talked about it on Friday. Cochran had four fouls. So referees explaining the initial foul on Olivia Cochran of Louisville and then an intentional foul on Callie Stokes. So that was the swinging point there that they needed to straight out. Stokes off the back iron. Redondo Beach, California native. After all that, it's a tough it's a tough way to come back into it, trying to shoot a technical free throw after a long delay. Yeah, kind of icing the shooters here. Wow, 0 for 2. And now Louisville will have a chance to respond. Prior to those misses, both teams have been really good at the line. Gonzaga 13 of 16 today. That includes the two misses. Louisville 2 out of 3. Jefferson gets a friendly roll. Opportunity to make it an eight-point game for the Cardinals. Ranked in the top 20 for the third straight season. Final 90 seconds of this third quarter. Russell. Agent grabs the board. Foul there on Henny. Van Schaik. Late in the season, going into March. Jim facing up. Got it in the foul. If I'm Gonzaga, I want to go right at her next time down the floor. Just a five-point game. Curry, charge. Shot fucking game clock about 15 seconds apart. Boy, Maxwell just so good. Over, over, over for the last shot of the quarter. Curry. Russell. Can't beat the buzzer. And that will take us to the fourth quarter. No reason to go anywhere. I don't think either one of them are thinking too much about that. They just want to win this ball game today. Keith Jefferson. Trying to help Louisville get back in control. Cards have led by as many as a dozen. You know what? Cards with a big jump for the Cardinals. They had three players pick up two fouls in the first quarter of this game. Ricard steals it away. Louisville by... Another giveaway. Maxwell took her down. Both teams... With a pristine shooting effort, as you see on your screen. Jada Curry. Not on the same page with Ricard. I'm going to bring them down for just the second time this season. And such a dangerous team because of the three-point threat that they possess. The Chancellor Classic. Winner of this game could take home the Betty Chancellor Classic. Gonzaga with the win takes it out right. Louisville needs to increase its cushion to take home that turn. Coach Walls drew that up, isolated her on a one-on-one -on -one drive to the basket. Russell. Kiki Jefferson, the transfer from James Madison. Ricards. Splash. That's how sweet. Bailey Trong playing back near which she played her high school basketball. Ejim finds a lane and draws the foul. Russell kind of trying to take up for Cochran there, saying it was me, it was me. But just think a situation like that kind of cracks the door open for Gonzaga to possibly take hold of this, led by Caitlin Clark, but. Oliva Cochran gave the Hawkeyes everything they could handle. She had 20 and 14. Yeah, both career highs for her. 
Jefferson steps outside. Connects. Egypt keeps it going. Hollingsworth. Wow, missed the rim on the layup attempt. Maxwell. Foul. No, no. Maxwell has started to heat up in the second half. In state recruit coming back home after going out of state to start her career in Utah. Well, by eight. Curry goes the lead back to ten. Tronk to Egypt. Haley Tronk can't answer. It's been a tough day for those sisters. Haley three out of nine from the field. Oh, a five from outside. Hey, Lynn Tronk on the bench with four fouls. Louisville has led by as many as 12. Russell. Four to shoot. Oh, the pretty land. You know, she's a little frustrated. Two of the three games, she's she's been in foul trouble and fouls out of this one. The swipe from Jefferson. Another land. Trog lost it. And what you're seeing here is Louisville wears on you. That intense pressure over a 40-minute period really starts wearing on you. We're in the 36th minute here. What a finish for the Cardinals. Outscored by Gonzaga 20 to 12 in that third. They've responded extremely well here in the fourth. Ran away from Liberty. A nice win over Alabama yesterday. Elite Strong. Ring it up. Curry. Rainbow wouldn't have fall. Bulldogs trying to push. Oh, they've got to move with some urgency here. They can't take this long to get a shot up. Take them way too long here. Kaylin Strong. Each of the twin sisters has been held to just 10 points today. Again, credit to Louisville. They're not giving them anything easy. They make you pay. They're just such an experienced team, a poised team. They read well. Uh, definitely have a chance there against three Pac-12 opponents uh, upcoming here to... Uh, to really compete well and possibly get wins. Played at Jersey Village High School. Talked with their head coach in high school. Now at Cinco Ranch right here in Katy. These two sisters on the roster. Her high school coach had a lot of praise. Said they're even better people than they are athletes. And they cut the lead down to nine. Fight from Maxwell and the Bulldogs. Russell has to keep the dribble. Final minute of the Betty Chancellor Classic. Louisville trying to hold on and take the title. Really have a bright future the rest of the season. Zaga certainly will be in the mix in the West Coast Conference again, trying to win its 15th title in 16. Jefferson makes it a 10. Always have Duke in North Carolina. The Tar Heels Sorry. loaded up on transfers. I was seeing what the official was doing there. There's not a night off, no different than the SEC. Night in and night out, you're going to be challenged. They've had chances, but just unable to get over the hump here late. Yeah, a couple of teachable moments, I think, for Coach 48 in the last minute and a half or so of this game. Clock management took way too long there on one offensive possession, and then took quite a while to foul there um, after hitting that big shot. So I'm sure she'll take that back and, and use it as teachable moments for her veteran squad. Louisville can dribble it out. It did not come easy. But the Cardinals will walk away with another trophy in their program's historic record. The buzzer will sound, and Louisville has won the Betty Chancellor Classic. Coach, your final thoughts on a great weekend for the Cardinals. Well, I like their bounce back. I really like their bounce back. You know, they they got upset by Alabama, bounced back yesterday against the feisty Liberty.